video is all about how to label your lovely packouts. Anybody who uh, uses Milwaukee Packout or has seen any of my videos before knows I love them. They're a brilliant uh, uh, solution for storing uh, tools and components, but they have an Achilles heel and that is labeling. Uh, they don't have a ready way to be able to label them up. So initially uh, I set about with a solution using some electrical tape, uh, which you can color code for different uh, types of things, uh, as well as just simply writing what's in there on a, you know, with a Sharpie uh, on the handle. I then got more sophisticated, uh, dug out a label printing machine uh, uh, which is about probably about a decade old, uh, got some uh, 29 by 90 labels, um, cut them in half and stuck one either side of the uh, of the sort of clip release uh, and also did a full one on the side as well. And the contrast works really well. You can really see what you're storing in each box and, um, and it works fantastically. Um, slight revision. Initially, I had a, a lid label that was facing me uh, when I on the stack, if you like, um, but I changed that to being um, the wrong way up, which meant it was the right way up on a wall plate. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the other uh, little tip is for the for the very thin compact ones. I initially put the adhesive label on the body itself, uh, but at a sort of oblique angle, you can't actually see what's in it. So in the end, I sort of trimmed them down a bit further and stuck those on the lid itself, and that works perfectly. Uh, for the ammo boxes, I think you call them in the US, uh, I initially uh, used a um, it's a lot of a little embossing machine. Uh, it's probably about 30 years old. Uh, it worked okay, but I think the adhesive was a bit uh, past its best, so I super glued them. Uh, but as it turned out, actually they weren't very good in low light. The contrast wasn't particularly good. Um, so I rolled out the sticky labels again and put those uh, in the handle, and they work uh, perfectly well. As a final point, um, it's great to have a contrasting first aid box. So because the boxes in the UK are black, and the first aid boxes are red, then um, you can spot it a mile off for all those times when you cut yourself, as I uh, seem to do uh, more often than I'd like. Anyway, hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and see you next time.